Hostinger is a very popular web hosting company that offers a variety of services, including shared hosting, virtual private servers, cloud hosting, domain registration, and so on. It's one of the most affordable web hosting companies while providing high quality services. In this video, I will show you how to select and buy a hosting plan and set up your account. And I will also show you how you can connect your domain name with your hosting or server if you registered that domain with a different company. So let's get started. So as I mentioned, Hostinger offers shared hosting services, cloud hosting, and WordPress hosting. You can also purchase virtual private servers if you are more advanced users, and they also offer email hosting and domain services. Right now, what we are interested in is this hosting tab. And for most part, you want to select web hosting or WordPress hosting. If you know that you will build your website with WordPress, then it's better to choose WordPress hosting. The prices are basically the same with very little difference. So if, uh, if you build your website with WordPress, choose the WordPress hosting because then you will have some extra WordPress specific functionalities available to you. Okay, so this is what I am going to choose. And if you scroll down, you can see the pricing. You can see which one is the most popular and you can see the monthly prices. But I recommend buying a plan for at least 12 months because then you can get a free domain name. So if you come here and move your mouse over this uh, question mark. You can see that after signing up for a 12, 24 or 48 month hosting or shared WordPress or cloud hosting plan, you get a free domain name for one year. Okay, so this is a, a really good deal. And it's 100% safe because they, uh, with all their plans, they offer a 30 days money back guarantee. So if you are not happy with your hosting account, you can just ask for a refund so you don't risk anything. So which plan should you choose? Well, we have four plans here and it really depends on your website, what traffic you expect. If you only want to host one website and uh, you don't uh, need a free domain name and, uh, and you don't expect too much uh, visitors, then you can go with this uh, uh, 199 plan. But the WordPress starter is not, not much more expensive. And uh, with this plan, you can add additional websites to your server. You can add up to 100 websites and uh, you get more monthly visits. Uh, you get a free uh, domain name and basically you get everything except the WordPress staging tool. But to be honest, I don't really use that. So it's not a, not a big problem if you don't have access to this feature. One important thing is that if you buy a plan, you will pay $249 or $199 or $399 per month. But when you renew your plan, you will pay $699 per month. So it will renew with this price, not with this price. So for example, if you buy a 12 months plan, you will pay two, $249 per month. But when that plan renews, it will renew with this monthly price. So if you are planning to host more than one website and you need a little bit more resources, then I'd suggest to go with this starter plan or if you know that you will need uh, a lot more resources, then, uh, then select one of these uh, more expensive plans. Okay, so in this case, I am going to buy this WordPress starter plan. So let's buy it, click select. And first you can select the plan that you want to purchase. So by default, the 48 months is selected. And if you scroll down, you can see how much uh, it will be. Depending on your location, this price may be a little bit different. So it depends on how much uh, tax you need to pay. So for the 48 uh, months, 
I would pay $151, which is not bad, but 14 months is a little bit uh, too long, so I will select 24 months and then I will pay 91. But if you select 12 months, then it would cost 45. But you can also see the, um, the discount prices here. So if I select uh, 12 months, then it will renew at 8.99. If I select 24 months, it will renew 7.99. So you can save $1 every month. If you select the 24 months, it's really, really up to you. Actually, I'm thinking between uh, 12 or 24. Okay, I think I will select the 12 months plan. Anyway, when I have to renew it this time of the year, they always have some kind of uh, uh, discount prices. So I will probably be able to take advantage of that. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so if you selected your plan, then scroll down and then you can select your payment method. You can pay with credit card or PayPal or Google Play, Alipay, or you can pay with a cryptocurrency. I will pay with PayPal and I will also have to provide an email address or you can use Facebook or Google to create your account. I'm not going to use Facebook or Google. I just, uh, I just use an email address and then I click submit secure payment. Then I need to click the PayPal checkout button. Obviously, if you selected a different payment method, you will see something different here. But for me, I have to click this uh, button. Okay, and if the payment was successful, then you will be redirected to the Hostinger control panel. We need to set a new password for our account. Okay, and we are ready to poke around in our new Hostinger control panel. So let's go uh, through with this. They need to ask a few questions. So click start now. Who are you creating the website for? I'm creating for myself. I'm building myself. Which type of website do you want to build? Uh, it's going to be a blog. No, I don't need help building my website. Okay, since we purchased a WordPress hosting plan, Hostinger will set up WordPress for us. So here it says you will use these details to access the WordPress admin area. If you want to run an online shop and you want Hostinger to also install the WooCommerce plugin, then you need to check this uh, box. Otherwise, the administrator email is already provided for us and we need to set a password. This is going to be actually the uh, admin password on our WordPress website. Let's click continue. Okay, so here you can select a template that you want to install. I am not going to uh, select anything here. I usually use the Divi uh, theme. So I just uh, click skip. And this is where we can claim our free domain name. So if you want a free domain name, just select this option and then obviously you will need to come up with a name for your domain and if it's uh, not taken then you will be able to create your website with this domain name or you can buy a new one but obviously if you have this option then you won't buy a new domain name or you can use an existing domain name so now in this case i am not going to claim a free domain name because i don't really need it i already have a uh, a website and a domain name at a different server and I am going to point that domain name to Hostinger and I'm going to move my website to my new Hostinger server. So I'm just going to select the use an existing domain. So here I need to provide my domain name. Click continue. Since my domain name was registered and it's currently hosted somewhere else, Hostinger detected my existing name servers and it shows me how I need to change it. So I need to replace my current name servers with these name servers. Okay, so I'm just go ahead and do it. 
And here I am logged into my hosting account where my domain name is hosted and these are my name servers. So I need to change these to the hosting or name servers. So I'm just going to copy this, paste it here, copy the second one and paste it here and just click to change name servers and it's saved successfully, but it may take a while until this domain name will be pointed to the new server. So I'm going to need to wait a little bit. Okay, so back here, I just click continue. Here I can change the server location. So the server location is kind of important because uh, you should choose a location that is the closest to your target audience. So obviously, if your target audience is in uh, Australia, then you shouldn't put your server to the US or to, to Europe. You can see that there are a number of server locations for Hostinger. So if um, your target audience in South America, then you should choose this one. Or if your target audience is in Europe, then you should choose this one. So it's really up to you which one you choose. Actually, I am happy with the US. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe I'll change this to the uh, East Coast. And Hostinger will add this domain to my account and it will install WordPress. So click Finish Setup. Okay, so it's initializing my account. So it's done, but I have a warning to view your website, make any changes you will need to connect your domain to our name servers. So we already connected the name servers, but probably Hostinger cannot detect it yet. So we can just go over this again, uh, click connect. Here we need to select a domain name provider, probably my provider won't be in the list. So I will choose other, click let's start. Okay, so I already done this. So I already changed my old name servers to hosting our name servers. Click continue. All set name servers require up to 24 hours to work worldwide. Use this link to check the name server status of your website. So I will just open this in a new tab. Actually, I can see that in, in the US, it shows my new name servers. So the website should be visible very, very soon. Okay, so currently this is my website, but it still shows the website from the old server. And once the DNS propagation is finished, then uh, I shouldn't see this website. I should see a default WordPress installation. So I will wait a little bit and then I will come back when, when it's, it's done. So I waited a few minutes. And I also use the IP config flush DNS command to flush my DNS because the propagation was done, but I was still unable to see the website. But now if I refresh, I have the default look on my Hostinger account. So now my domain name is properly connected to my Hostinger server. And now I can build my website. So basically what I'm going to do is just, I am going to upload my old files to my hosting or server. Of course, I'm going to need to change the WP config file so that the database connection is correct. And they are in accordance with my uh, database details on Hostinger. And uh, also I am going to need to import my old database in the database that was created by Hostinger on my new server. Okay, I'm not going to go over this process, but basically you need to go to manage your site. And here under files, you can create a new FTP account, or you can use the file manager to upload the files. And here under the uh, database, settings, you can access PHP MyAdmin. So here basically just uh, need to remove the default uh, data from the uh, database. And then you can import your old data into this uh, uh, database and you should be good to go.
you don't really have to do anything else. So if you if you just want to build your your own website, then you can already start building it. Here you can uh, access your WordPress dashboard. SSL was set up for you automatically by hosting us. You don't really have to do anything else. Uh, you can go to the emails section and create a new email account. Uh, but basically, uh, that is it. So the most important part was to point your domain name that was registered elsewhere to this new hosting or account. So basically, you just had to replace the name servers and uh, everything was done under the hood. If you have any questions, just please leave a comment below the video. And if you like this video, uh, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.